Next up, it is time for a comprig. A little bit different, a Victorian rock crawler. Let's go and have a look at that. One of the main characters of the Victorian rock crawling scene. Nam, Nam, how are you today? I'm well, despite the rollovers. <laughs> Talking about rollovers, you've had a few this weekend, haven't you? Yeah, one each day. First course and last course, so... <laughs> Actually, he meant that to miss the bottom cone. He missed the bottom cone totally. <laughs> Done really well. And how many courses did you complete without rollovers? Well, it's hard to remember numbers when your head's been... <laughs> All right, a bit of a nasty machine. What can you tell us about this buggy? Basically, it's a tube patrol. So it started its life off as a short wheelbase Maverick. All the running gear is still there. So a straight six running on gas. GQ disc front and rear, twin air lockers. It's got hydraulic steering. Other than that, five link front suspension and four link rear. It's pretty simple. Keep it nice and simple. Now, what sort of events are you doing in it? We're trying to be present for all the Oz Rock rounds, possibly one or two Wee Rock rounds. Now the Queensland rock crawlers have got some pretty good weather up there. What do you think of the Victorian terrain and weather down here? I wish I was up there at the moment, I can tell you that. <laughs> I'll be trying to warm up my frostbite now. <laughs> Alright Nam, you've definitely put on a show which is what rock crawling, which a four-wheel drive event scene is all about. What is the next event coming up for you? We will probably spectate the next round of Wee Rock and try to pick up some tips and tricks and then the next round of Oz Rock will definitely be there. What about any mods coming up on the vehicle apart from repairing that buckled rear wheel? Yeah, we might look at maybe cutting brakes. You can see the other cars with cutting brakes, they've got a definite advantage in the tight courses. So if we can get something like that, that'll give us a bit of an advantage as well. Now, like most of these events, the navigator's pretty important. We've seen yours out there working pretty hard. How important is he? He's crucial. There's no way we'll get anywhere without a good spotter. So it's basically teamwork. There's a car, the driver and the spotter, and all three got to do their bit, I guess. Out of all those three, who's to blame for those rollovers? <laughs> that'll be me. Skinny pedal, love it. <laughs> And did your navy work hard enough on those rocks? Oh yeah, you can see him out there trying to lift those big ones. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for putting on a great show this weekend. Congratulations, we'll see you at the next event, thank you. We'll see you then.